Our overall goal for innovation is not innovation. Our overall goal is to support valid inferences and have fidelity with respect to the standards in our assessment. So I'll be showing you some items that um, ETS developed that illustrate our approach. The thing to really understand is that we're still in the item development phase. These are mock-ups. These are not what students will see. Okay, this, this set of items illustrates how we're going to assess very young children with a computer. That's been one of the big questions is, you know, can you put a kindergartner in front of a computer and have them do some work? So this illustrates how we're trying to use technology in the lower grades while making sure it's still very user friendly. And um, ETS has done work in cognitive labs that shows young children, as, as young as kindergarten, can actually handle this kind of item. It's a click and click item if they're given appropriate instructions before they take the test. Hi, my name is Jason. I need your help. Can you help me find some things in my bedroom? <laughs> click on the book. The <laughs> click on the kite. <coughs> Click on something you can wear. Click on something with wheels. Thank you. Now help me put some things away. Put the shoes under the bed. Put the jeans in the closet. Put the lamp on the table. Now help me choose a pillow. Choose the pillow with stripes. Put it on the bed. That set of tasks can be handled by students now using uh, the technology that most schools have. But we're hoping eventually to put that kind of task on, on touch pads, and that will make it even easier, and we can expand the kinds of things we assess. And I just wanted to keep connecting this back to the standards. The tasks are not for themselves, and they're not cool just because they're cool, at least to adults. But um, they, they do address, this task is designed to address the lower levels of two of the listening standards. Um, in, in kindergarten. Okay, and the next set of tasks kind of illustrates that as we're trying to appropriately reflect the multidimensional nature of the standards and the interactivity of language, we still are planning to report out scores at the domain level of reading, listening, writing, and speaking. You'll see that the next stack tasks maintains the, um, the interdiscipline, the interactive nature of language. But what we do is we provide supports for the receptive domain, because this task is intended to assess a ch child's speaking. Okay, we are going to see what happens when we put a white flower in a cup of colored water. Now watch. You need these materials, a bowl of water, purple food coloring, and a white flower. First, put the food coloring in the water. Second, put the flour in the bowl. Third, wait overnight. Look, the white flour is now purple. Can you tell me what just happened? Then, then the student hears um, the uh, narrator saying, uh, tell, your, tell your friend, or I'm sorry, I can't even remember the, all the words, but tell your friend what your teacher did today. And then the, um, the, the, the examinee can um, think about what they're going to say and use the tool to record their response. What should be in that screen there is that the sequence of events that happen are shown in five pictures. So you see the materials. <coughs> you, so the student doesn't have to rely on their memory. What we're trying to assess is speaking and giving them a, an academic context in which to do their speaking. And um, then the student will re record, record his or her response and then stop it. They can play back their recording and they can re-record once if, if they don't like what they saw. And this kind of item is really very, very useful because you can get at 
depending on, with the right rubric, you can get, you can uh, assess, you can elicit responses from all five levels of a couple of um, speaking standards.